last night, Baylor beat Gonzaga in the college basketball men's national championship. I watched it. Uh, Baylor won the title game. It was not a close game. Uh, Baylor won 86 to 70. And, uh, oh, man, Baylor was actually up 19 points uh, for a moment in the first half. I mean, it was just not a – Baylor was bigger, faster, stronger. They physically dominated Gonzaga. It was a mismatch. I mean, literally, I'm not kidding. They were like – they just dominated inside. A great example of that is how, you know, Baylor had 38 rebounds. Gonzaga had 22. Just they, just utter domination inside physically. Uh, and personally, I felt like Baylor winning was the – least interesting way the title game could play out where I wanted a close game. Gonzaga is my local team. Uh, and I, shamelessly, I was rooting for like Not very much, but like, I would have liked to see Gonzaga win. It would have been cool. Like, eh, they're local. I've been to the school. I, I, it'd be nice. I, like, I didn't go there, but I mean, I've been to the campus and hung out there and worked at basketball games. And uh, I've seen Mark Few up close. Like, it'd be, be kind of cool if they won a championship. Like, huh, I've been to that building. Uh, and more importantly, though, because my priority, I don't really care about teams. I, I root for players. My priority was I want a close game. Whether Gonzaga wins or Baylor wins, I don't care. As long as it's tense and close and interesting near the end of the game, I'd be very happy. And now, if Gonzaga had won in a blowout, and it's not a love blowouts, but hey, at least you could say, well, it's interesting and cool because Gonzaga would have been the first team since 1976 to go undefeated and win a national title. We didn't get that. We kind of got the least interesting outcome where Baylor dominated. They won in a blowout. Uh, and uh, I, I guess I will say my boredom transitioned in the second half, kind of midway in the second half. My boredom transitioned to respect for Baylor because they were playing really good defense, really good basketball. Uh, they really, really got stifled and suffocated Gonzaga on offense. Gonzaga's offense. Uh, which has been, they move the ball very, very well. They score a ton of points. They couldn't do anything last night. They were just total, the word is suffocated, man. They Baylor's defense put a lot of pressure on them. They were forcing Gonzaga to make tough shots. They're like, we are not going to give you any easy buckets. You have to earn it. And and Gonzaga, frankly, I didn't have the physical ability to hang with Baylor. <laughs> I, I, and I, you got to respect it, man. The better team won, like by a lot. And I do wonder if, uh, you know, Baylor was number two all year. Baylor, this is a fact. Baylor was a number two ranked team all year in college basketball. And they had to watch Gonzaga get ranked number one and stay there all year. And Gonzaga, uh, I, I've been there. Like, I like them. But they play in a really, really weak conference. They play nobody. And so they're playing cupcake opponent after cupcake, cupcake opponent, dominating like they should if they're a good basketball team. Sure. Uh, but I, and then remember, Gonzaga was supposed to play Baylor like December 5th. Gonzaga got COVID. Game didn't happen. I bet Baylor's sitting there like, you guys are lucky. If you'd played us, you wouldn't be undefeated now. I wonder how much that, I don't think it matters because they want to win the title more than they want to beat Gonzaga, but I'm sure it felt good to win a title against Gonzaga and go, oh, they're number one, huh? Yeah, sure. And another not, we kicked their behinds. And um, I just, I'm sure the fact they got to do it against Gonzaga must have felt good. Also, I got to say, well done by Scott Drew. The Baylor coach, he's been there for years and years. I think 18 years now. Since 2003 was his introductory press conference. 18, 17 seasons. I don't know. I, you can look it up. I don't really care. Been there for a long, long time. And it's been a slow journey turning the Baylor basketball program around. The men's team. Uh, you know, Brittany Griner, Baylor, the, the good women's team. Baylor's men's team is, was really, really bad for a long time. Scott Drew turned them around. Good for Scott Drew. I am, I'm just... I can't imagine that feeling when you take a horrible program, you're invested, you sp it's like your life's work. The culmination of Scott and Drew's life's work, his whole career at Baylor, led to him winning a title last night. Good for him, good for the players, I'm really happy for them. Uh, and I, I like Gonzaga, I like their coach, Mark Few. Uh, but I'm, I'm, you know, Baylor was clearly the better team. And uh, man, last night was a job well done. So good job for Baylor, happy for Scott Drew, happy for the players. And uh, it was not the game I wanted. And not even because Baylor uh, won. I, I just wanted a close game. And it wasn't a close game. I was disappointed at that. But like I said, as the game went on and Baylor dominated more and more, uh, my, my boredom and disappointment kind of transitioned to respect. And I finished the game going, wow, good for Baylor. That, that's actually a really good win uh, in college basketball. And I respect it.